Hey, this will be a very short scene, but yet a very powerful scene. Let's look at what Ryan Gosling does. Look, it looks like we have a bigger problem than I thought. Okay, did you see that? So as he approaches the situation, this is a woman right here. This is a Ryan Gosling from Drive. He walks up with his eyes and checks her out. All right? See, look at his eyes again. It looks like we have a bigger problem than I thought. Right there. One more time so you can see that. It looks like we have a bigger problem than I right thought. Right there. So he checks her out, but he's not, um, he's not like staring at her hips or her body, but he does a quick uh, up and down. All right? This is a way you can check someone out. Without being creepy, again, he goes back to her eyes. He's not, you know, being weird with it, but it's a smooth way to check someone out of the opposite sex or someone you like. We're going to have to keep the car here for a few days. Looks down at the car. Again, he's not looking down because he's nervous or something like that. There, There's a car right here on the um, left side. You can't really see this on this, on this, uh, in the visual right now. But he's looking down the car because that's what the other mechanic is talking about. Then he will look back at her. So I offered your services to take Benicio and Irene home. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. That was the most important thing of this scene. All right. You notice how long he waited? He took his time. He didn't just say, yeah, of course, I'll do it right away. He said, yeah, sure. But he, he waited at least two or three seconds. All right, let's do it again. You okay? One, two, three. Yeah, sure. Okay. So it doesn't seem like three seconds doesn't seem like a long time, but if we actually watch the scene, it actually is a very long time. Benicio and Irene home. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So he waits a few seconds. He goes from looking at this guy, eye contact, giving eye contact to the woman, gives a little bit of a smile, and then says, yeah, sure. All right, that pause, he's taking his time, he's not rushed. That's very attractive, okay? I don't have wheels in my car. Okay. That's one thing you should know about me. We'll put the tires on. You got five minutes? Okay, so right there. And he's not... Um, desperate to make it happen if he was desperate he would have said something like oh wait please let me just put the tires on uh, then i'll be ready instead he said oh hey wait a minute i don't have wheels uh you know <laughs> that's one thing you should know about me so he made it about himself all right even though it's about the car he's just being funny with it but he's also stating a fact all right and then asked if she had five minutes but he did it in a way where he he knew that she did all right so let's watch this again that's one thing you should know about me. We'll put the tires on. You got five minutes? All right, so this guy, his boss told him to put the tires on. He's not getting mad at his boss for giving a command, but he doesn't say, you know, he just is go, goes and, uh, and does that. He asks the woman if, if she has five minutes, but he does so in a way where, you know, he, he's not really desperate for the outcome. He, he's very self-assured. And he's having a good time with this whole thing, okay? It's, it's a perfect way to show body language, uh, very you know strong body language, but yeah, he's also has a cool, calm demeanor. Even though he is not the big boss in the situation, he has a boss. He doesn't disrespect his boss. At the same time, he doesn't suck his his boss's dick. He just realizes, or excuse me, he doesn't suck his. Uh, he he's not bending over backwards. He's doing the job and and um, and still carrying himself with respect. And uh, and yeah, the way he communicates, taking his time, um, you know. Just having such a solid uh, level of self-confidence is incredible and something we could all uh, learn from. Ryan Gosling does a fantastic uh, job in this movie, Drive.